change out the transmission quick disconnect fittings got got a couple leaks going on here right there now I already changed this one out I'll provide so you guys part number factory parts AC Delco got this off Amazon link will be in description below all right what we got to do here is pull this little cap back get you a pick there's a little tab in there let me show you guys what the what it looks like here so the tab looks like this, this is what we're trying to get out of there it goes in that slot and holds this in place inside of there there's a little o-ring that little o-ring goes bad starts leaking now you can't just replace the o-ring no way so uh I'm gonna take that clip out and I'll come back to you. So Be you right got back. the clip, the pick, pop it out just you like that. You can use a three quarter or 19 millimeter. And I'm gonna take this off of here and uh, come right on back to you. Oh yeah, the hose, it'll just pull right out right now. And transmission fluid will come out. So you got this big drain pan right here. Nice drain pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up. Keep the drain pan underneath it. And I'll come Fill back. Get it all loose. There we go. It's going on up in there. There we go. See all that coming out of there. Alright, I'm gonna try just to pop this fitting right off here. Boom, there we go. Turn that off. Make sure to get oil on these O-rings. New ones. Take this out of here. And uh, just put that right, right up in there. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going to tighten that up a little bit. And uh, I'll be right back. Alright, so we got the fitting up in there. Tighten it up. You don't have to go real crazy. It's just a little rubber O-ring. You take the hose and just push that right in there. And that's it. You can see, you can hear it click and you can see the little tabs holding it in. You can try to pull it back out, it ain't coming out. Slide this up here. Push that in, keeps it centered. All right, we got our transmission quick disconnect fittings installed. We're gonna start the vehicle and check for the... All right, I don't see anything leaking, so now I'm gonna put this vehicle back down on level ground, start the engine, and I'm gonna check the transmission fluid level, top off the fluids as needed, and that's pretty much it, our job is done. This is on a 2006 to 2010 Chevy Impala.